You're watching 10 News and yet another blunder for the troubled MyKey ticketing system with dozens more commuters credited hundreds of thousands of dollars. But the government refuses to accept any blame. Michael Wiggett has hit the jackpot, given enough credit to ride the rails for as long as he likes. I was expecting there to be about somewhere between five and ten bucks left on it, so when it came up with 150,000 that was, uh, yeah, certainly surprising. On Wednesday, a quick check of his account revealed the startling balance blunder. And he's not alone. At least 30 commuters are known to have been overcredited. What's not known is how many, if any, have been shortchanged. If the money could have been put on there like that, it could have just as easily been taken off. So, so it doesn't instill much confidence in the system. One which has had a long list of hurdles along the journey. <laughs> And the Premier refuses to take the blame. We've got a legal contract with Camco. So and you can't do anything about it? Well, it's a legal contract and we expect them to comply with it. As you would. And pick up the pieces. Would, as you would if you had a legal contract with a company. Leaving a spokesperson for Camco to do the reassuring. Uh, the money has actually gone onto the card and not into their account, so they cannot withdraw the money from that card. Well, Mikey might as well be running uh, the lottery system the way it's working. The $1.35 billion project was meant to be up and running by 2007. It's now $350 million over budget and apparently still coughing up cash. I might just take the bike into work, I think, for a little while. Rakhal Eberle, 10 News.